Hi and welcome to I Design My Life. I'm Sumit and I'm a life and a mind coach. So today we are going to continue from where we left last time. So we were talking about beliefs and how belief gets formed. So before I proceed, let me quickly revise as to what we have done because it is such an important concept. So beliefs are formed by an event. We sense the event through VAK, our visual medium, auditory medium and kinesthetic medium. Based on this, our experience passes through a filter which is of generalization, deletion and distortion. And based on this, we create our own event which we have called as EM and our behaviors are driven by this event EM. So today we are going to cover two things. One is the belief cycle as to how beliefs operate in cycle as well as the sources of belief. And this is what we are going to cover today. So what is a belief cycle? Just consider this belief cycle as a spiral. It's like a square spiral. So your beliefs create your feelings about things. Your feelings create your actions and your actions give you results. These results again feed back into your beliefs positively or negatively. So let me give you an example around this. An example would be, I have a strong belief that if I produce good YouTube videos, then people are going to get benefited by it. Because of this belief, I feel good about it. And because I feel good about it, I take an action. And because I take an action, I get results. So when people come on our YouTube channel and say good things about us, my beliefs get strengthened and then I get motivated to do more of it. So this is a kind of a positive belief cycle. Then we have got a negative belief cycle as well, wherein you do not actually believe that something will happen. And based on that, you do not get good feelings. You do not create actions. You do not get the results and your belief gets strengthened. So let me give you an example over here. For example, you wanted to speak to your friend, but you believe in your mind that your friend is very adamant and he is not going to listen to you. So once you have this belief in your mind, you do not feel like going and speaking to him because in your mind you believe that he is not going to listen. So you do not generate any action. And since you do not generate any action, you do not get results. And then this belief gets strengthened. You do not speak to your friend again. So this communication gaps widens, widens and widens. And then you reach a stage where you do not speak to each other or it becomes very difficult to start a conversation with your friend. Negative belief cycle is a belief cycle I'm really worried about. And people get trapped into it. See friends, beliefs are made by us. We can design our beliefs the way we want to. And these beliefs operate at a very subtle level. What I realized with me was, these beliefs were operating at that level where I was not even cognizant of the fact that I was being driven by these beliefs. It's only I worked with a life coach, I realized that I was being constrained by this negative belief cycle. So beliefs drive us. And we need to have a thorough understanding of our beliefs as to how they shape our destiny. So if you're caught up in a negative belief cycle, please get out of it. Seek help. If you're not getting results, that means you're caught in a negative belief cycle. That is a clear cut indication that you're caught in a trap. If you're not taking any action for the things which you know that you should be doing, then you're caught in a negative belief cycle. Having understood this important concept of belief cycle and having understood that belief is a source of every result we get, it would be a good idea to understand the sources of belief and how beliefs get fed in us. So how do we create beliefs? We create beliefs in two ways. One are the beliefs that we experienced on our own. 
and the second kind of beliefs are acquired beliefs so the kind of beliefs which we experience on our own are based on our past results past events as well as our environment whereas acquired beliefs are the beliefs which we acquire we don't experience them first hand for example a known authority would have talked about certain topic then we take his belief as it is let's get deeper into each of these beliefs now because it is very very essential to get to the root of the limiting beliefs and understand when we form them and how we form them only then we can correct them so i'm going to cover the beliefs which we experience on our own or the first hand beliefs first so one of its kind is beliefs being generated from our past results for example if we were trying to do something in our childhood and we were not able to do it then we form a belief that this is something i'm not able to do there is a very cliched example which people give when they talk about the past results so they say that a baby elephant it has been chained when it is not strong so what it does is it tries to pull that chain off tries to pull that chain off but it is unable to break the chain so what it does is it creates a belief in its mind that this chain is stronger than it so what happens at a later stage is when it grows up it is still unable to break that chain although i'm sure that he can always break the chain because he's powerful now when he is young that chain is nothing you know elephant is very big but in his mind he is trapped in this negative cycle he is not strong enough so he doesn't even try to break the chain and those are the kind of beliefs which i am most worried about when i work with my clients these are the kind of beliefs which i like to look at and i call these beliefs as capability beliefs the beliefs which people build around their capability and we are going to look into it in detail in our next video the second kind of belief is the beliefs we create because of our past events so if you would have seen the previous video you would have realized that i am afraid of dogs now why is that because my friend was bitten by a dog and i had a really really bad experience so i believe that all dogs bite this belief is based on a past event now think for yourself if you are being limited by something what is that event which created a limiting kind of a belief in you just think about that so the second kind of belief is based on our past events our past events drive our beliefs and these beliefs further drive our actions so if you would have a past experience or past event which is shaping your beliefs then you need to go inside and look at that so the third kind of belief is beliefs which you form because of the environment you have been brought up in and these are the beliefs which are created because of your upbringing because you are brought up in a certain kind of a community for example the environment kind of beliefs could be women cook for the house it's a man's duty to earn a living also when men and women get married the men should be taller than women i don't know where this belief comes from but i had this belief that you know whenever i saw a married couple i always used to believe oh this man is taller and woman is shorter but when i went to london you know went out of the country i realized that that was a belief coming out of nowhere it had no significance in my life so all these beliefs as i've said they shape us now moving on to the acquired beliefs acquired beliefs are the beliefs which we have not experienced for ourselves however we hold them true in our mind for example earth is round i'm not really sure if i know for sure whether earth is round or not but i have a very strong belief that it is round now what might happen is coming 100 years someone might come and say it is elliptical in shape might be so this is an acquired belief 
the beliefs which we acquire because a certain kind of authority or a known person have talked about it. So we acquire those kind of beliefs. As I've said, we need to be very careful about the kind of beliefs we are operating inside. They operate at such a subtle level that we do not even realize that we are being guided by our beliefs. So guys, please be very watchful of what you're thinking inside, what you're talking inside, because all these are beliefs. If you believe that you can do it, you will do it. If somewhere inside you believe that you can't, you won't. So guys, let me summarize what we have talked about. We have talked about the belief cycle, where your beliefs create your feelings, which create your action, which create your results, and they feed back into your beliefs. So if you're trapped in a negative belief cycle, please get out of it. Seek some help and get out of it. Second, we need to be very watchful of the sources of beliefs. If we have a belief in us which is restricting us, then we need to change them. We have the entire capability to design our beliefs. We can change the beliefs the way we want to. And this is something we are going to see in the next video, where we'll talk about the limiting beliefs and how we can change our limiting beliefs. Till then guys, say to yourself, I am responsible for my life and I design my life.